hello everyone welcome to my channel so today we are going to be talking about um the head styling part of it head styling so when we're talking about head styling um is actually in adding style to our head html which um is very very important so this time around um inside the same folder and the same directory we are going to have a new HTML file which is known as one-index.html so now I'm going to create the stuff there and I'm gonna paste that there and I'm gonna hit enter so now we have empty stuff here so because I would not like to waste our time I'm just gonna copy all of this and paste it here but I'm gonna change some stuff there in these tags, we are not using our inline CSS, so I'm just gonna get rid of this inline CSS we have here. Okay, let me put it back for reverence purpose. So we're asked to in our head style in our head. I'm going to create inside our head mostly is a tradition. Actually, the fact there is anywhere you can place your CSS, anywhere you can place your CSS, your style um, element. So I'm just going to hit enter. Then now we have our style opening and closing tag. Now in our style opening and closing tag, um, what I'm going to do is okay. Let me open this right away so you guys will see what we have there. I'm just going to open that and place it here. So this is the same thing we have over there. So actually, whatever I make, whatever changes apply here, I'm just going to close this. Whatever changes are applying one dash index dot HTML, the same thing we're going to see over there. So actually, uh, for the body, you know, if I get rid of this, it's going to affect. And if I get rid of this too, it's going to also affect. So let me just get rid of this too, to confirm that. So, uh... You can see our red is gone. So now, for us to have our red back using the head CSS, I'm just gonna get rid of this inline CSS. So what we are going to do here is come over here. Then in this place, the important thing to do is I'm gonna call my head, my header then uh, in CSS to write your block of code you are going to put a opening and a closing coily bracket opening and a coily closing bracket now in that open and coily and closing bracket you are going to be writing all your codes so the first thing was background color and we set it to red so Actually, we are not using the red, we are using the hexadecimal, so I'm just going to use hash um, ff0000. So that's for red. Good. So that's for the red part. Now, the next one, the, after the background color sets to red, we ask to give it a height, a height of 70 pixels, 70 pixels. So you see, each, every of my statements here, I end it with a semicolon. Now the final one, the width, the width I end it with 100 pixels, I'm oh, sorry, 100% because I don't really know total percent we have there. So now that we have that settled, uh, we can see go ahead and check those stuff in there so I'm just going to refresh what we have there you can see we still have our stuff back and for the body part of it I'm gonna get rid of this so you see that I'm gonna get rid of the body and uh, you just refresh that you can see we still have that margin in it that space on the body stuff which we are going to get rid of so to get rid of that, I will come to where my head is. I'm gonna call the body. Now from the body, 
in the body I'm gonna go to say um, margin margin which is zero and padding which is zero just like that and that settles the case so if I refresh that you see we still have what we have good so uh, that's for that so we also we are going to sorry we are going to do same for the footer so we write a whole bunch of the stuff for the footer which we are going to get rid of so in this case I'm going to call my footer tag here I'll just call footer like this then a coily bracket then I'm going to pass all my properties in there the first property was the background color so the background color is going to be green does that red is going to be zero zero R G G green is going to be full F F and the rest one zero zero and that makes it green color so uh that set to um we're going to give it a height so a height of i think it was 60 pixels and we are going to give it a width sorry a width of 100 percent so just like that and when we refresh that you see we have the same thing that occurred previously so we are going to uh, position it by using the position property position and top property I mean so okay, sorry so um, I'm having an issue here yeah I think that should be, should be settled now okay good I settled so position so my position, I'm going to set it to absolute. You absolute always floats. Absolute means on top of another other element. So position is absolute. Now the next thing is I'm going to set the bottom. Bottom. I'm going to set it to zero. I'm going to position it at the bottom. Absolute bottom. So you see that. You see we have that at the bottom. Then to uh, position whatever content we have towards the center of the page, I use a place content, place content, and I set it to center. So actually, this is not going to work because one of the character is missing. Actually, nothing works. But to make it work, I'm just going to add this, which is display display grid so when I set display grid automatically that works perfectly and you see that's on our screen and we are good to go so that is that for the second project that is that for the second project so let me see if we have any other instruction that was given to us to uh, to follow up and if there is none then we continue with others so please if you know that you haven't subscribed please make sure you do that make sure you share make sure you also like and you know that will be very important and that will be very helpful uh, it's very good you do that so let me wait and see if there is any other stuff there to settle. I don't know why this happening, but just need to wait for a while. I think okay so we have write a HTML page that displays a header and a footer by name by using the style tag and the header tag 
same as whatever we have here for the previous one requirement you must use header tag you are not allowed to import any file yeah no inline style you must use the style tag in the head tag and whatever whatsoever so that is that so that is that and that so you can see that have settled the other part and other aspect of what we are going to be doing so please uh stay tuned for the next episode have a nice day god bless